the orange sun. That means there will be death on the farm. Just kidding, it doesn't mean anything, it's just cloudy. Hi everyone, I'm Trevor Bales with Bales Hay Sales. Yes, my last name is Bales, and yes, we bale hay. Today, we're gonna tarp some hay. It sucks. And the type of tarping we're doing, I've actually never done before. So it's gonna suck. And it's super humid today. That sucks. Today sucks. I put some very nice hay in the barn, and I don't really like this barn very much. It allows a lot of water to get on the hay. So because the hay is so nice, I'm meeting a couple of my employees. We're gonna take a tarp, and we are gonna cover the sides of the barn. So. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna to cover the sides of the stack under the barn, sorry. Okay, first things first, we take one of these tarps that's on this trailer. We'll pick it up with the squeeze. We'll set it in the bed of my truck and we'll take it over to the pad, or I'm sorry, take it over to the barn where we are going to try something I've never done before. Let's just see how this goes. Cross your fingers. Now we go to the barn. Thanks, Matt. So the goal of all this, of what we're doing, is to cover the side of this barn. This is some really nice hay, and I generally put all my nice hay in barns that have bad hay on the edge. I don't have, I can't put bad hay on the edge of this barn, so we're going to use a tarp. I've never done this before, like this. This is uh, something new, but I just want to show you the hay, the alfalfa, and why we're covering it. very small stem, very green and very leafy. So that's why we're here sweating our rear ends off on a Sunday. All right, we are done with the tarping. It's humid, we are sweaty, Matt's in the squeeze. Uh, Nate finally showed up to give us a hand. Uh, I forgot to call him. But we got it done. It's not cheap and it's not easy to keep hay green. Remember that. So something to show you, I stack these barns two different ways. That end, I'm going, they're all facing uh, east to west. This end, they're facing north to south. I do that so I don't box myself in. As I, as I fill that barn up, that way, I'm gonna come in from this way. And this way I can keep going in from the side while I can still unload from that other side of that barn. So I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's just a way to keep myself, gives myself more space and I don't box myself in. So hopefully it works out. But as you can see, it's getting snug up against those pipes. Hopefully it works. What, what do you guys see when you look at that barn? Do you see a gold tooth? Maybe, maybe it needs to be off to the side, but I see a gold tooth. Hey guys, so I talk about my barns quite a bit, but I'm standing out here with them right now, and here's a great example. So that barn behind me, you can see there's hay into the middle, and underneath the eave right there, there's more hay. That hay is lower quality hay on the outside. It's put there to protect the higher quality hay. This barn, as you can see, it's full, but there is no hay underneath the eave. So I'm watching for low quality hay, so I can put it under there. Yes, that hay is green, but there's something wrong with it to the to where I put it underneath the eaves. It's probably it's probably just very dry and off colored. Looking at it now, walking up to it, it's uh it's definitely just very dry. 
So that's how these barns are built. Everyone says they're not barns, they don't have sides on them. Well, the hay itself actually makes the side. Unfortunately, I don't always have low quality hay to put on the outsides. So that barn, that hay has been there for two years. This is its second year. I'm gonna leave it up and I'll probably take it down next year. They're all the same size except for one of them. They're 200 foot long by 96 foot wide. I can hold one truckload of hay. It's exactly eight stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I put one truckload on top, one truckload up on bottom, and 24 rows long. So that's uh, 48 truckloads of hay. And I can stack them taller to make more in a barn, but it takes time. We don't always have time, so. These are all just 64 bales on top of 64 bales. So 64 times 16 times 24, you can do the math. Okay, headed to look at some hay, some alfalfa hay. They baled this morning, a lot of moisture this morning. So after they raked, they had to wait a little while. They raked pretty early in the night, uh, two o'clock, one, one or two o'clock. And then uh, they, didn't, they weren't able to come back to bale until like, eight this morning so they built quite a bit hopefully it's pretty with all the humidity it should have been he's already done road siding so a fairly short day there's one two three semi loads so that's a pretty short day for him let's go take a look at it oh yeah fine stem and leafy that is some very very nice alfalfa i'll end up stacking it i'll end up stacking it with the hay we tarp today this morning then i'll have to tarp it as well because my barns aren't built yet it's taking them forever now this stack this load looks as nice i bet the next load looks just as nice let's go look That's some more, very green, very nice hay. Love to see it. This year's been, probably been, I would say it's been better than several years in the past uh, for making this, this much nice hay. I am heavy on nice hay, which is, I never say. It's Sunday, it's 12, 15. I think I'm gonna go home and hang out with Henry and my wife. Cause I miss him. I never get to see him. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends and family. Say, here's what you say. If you want to know every single thing there was ever to know about making hay, don't watch this guy. But if you want to know a little bit about making hay, watch this guy. If you don't want to know anything about making hay and you don't even care about making hay, watch this guy. If you're bored with nothing to do, or if you're just procrastinating, watch this guy. They might not be your friends or, or claim you as family after that, so I don't know. <laughs> Thanks again. Tune in for the next show. See you guys later.